it's Taylor at the Boat Lift Store, and today we'll be talking about cable and seeing what's wrong with your cable. So let's get to it. All right, your cables are fraying. The cables on your lip need to be replaced every five years if it's galvanized and every seven years if it's stainless. Your cables are fraying, replace them, it's time. All right, your cable is spreading apart like this. Now, a couple causes for this is when you lower your lift, your lift is hitting the bottom and then getting unsettled, which causes the cables to separate. If you're in an area where you get a lot of wakes while you're out boating, that can also cause it to separate. The best way to do this is get the boat off so you reduce the weight and then take a hammer and you just pat, pat, pat as it will push back together. Now, if it's sitting on top of each other, you want to lower it until it's undone. If it starts to fray or get chipped, you might need to replace it. Once you have that cable winded nicely, make sure it winds nicely as you pick the lift back up. All right, so your front cable is messed up, but your back cable is fine. This could be one of two things. One, your boat is not sitting on the cradles properly, and so when you pick the boat up, the cables come unjumbled. Um, to fix that, lower back down, just like we did before. The other reason is your cradles. So you have, this is flat for pontoon boats. For boats, we recommend four inches apart. You might not have enough of that angle on it to keep those cables, because when your boat comes on, well, to sit like this, so you pick it up like this. But if your cradles are like this and your boat's like that, your, your cable up front will get tangled and not your back. So you just need to adjust the levels of the cradle. Since 1984, getting out on the water with friends and family has been easy with Doozy Boat Lifts. Our lift supports jet skis, pontoons, tritunes, and boats under 14,000 pounds. We have galvanized and aluminum, boathouse, and four-post lift options. 